The next question on my list is how to create custom gradient background in Canva. So creating custom gradient is actually a new feature. Let me open a project. So let's say we are going to use the presentation canvas again. So this is one of the most frequent canvas size I use because this fits nicely for my videos. This is 1920 by 1080 pixels. So that's the 16 by nine aspect ratio. And this is perfect for my video screen. Okay, so creating a custom gradient background. So how do you do this? Well, first you have to search for gradient being on the elements tab. So make sure you are on the elements tab because if you search from the templates tab, it's not gonna work. So elements, you go for gradient, and then you will find a bunch of different gradients, but the first one looks a little bit different. If you pay attention, you will see that it is squared and not rectangular like the other ones. So click on the first one, this square one, and I'm going to show you the contrast by clicking on the second one. So this one, it's not square, but I'm just pushing it. So let's do like this. If I click on this one, nothing happens. If I click on this one, you can see two colors here, meaning I can change these colors, right? So we're going to focus on this one. So again, it's the first one, it's the square one. So this is the one that you can customize. So pretty cool. From here, it's uh, really easy. You just choose two different colors and you can customize them just like this. So what's cool also is that you can rotate it to kind of change the orientation of the gradient. So that's also pretty cool. One thing I want to tell you though, is that you can create some pretty ugly gradients in there, like this one, for example. So you have to kind of know what you're doing with colors. So what I suggest here is to go to canva.com slash colors like this in order to find some interesting color palettes that you can work with. And let me show you what I am saying here. When you are selecting one color, so you start with a primary color, like in this case, this turquoise, you can access different color palettes. Okay, so these are different color palettes, but you have also like different tabs here, analogous, complementary, and triad, or mono as well. So mono is usually a good place to start. Let's grab these colors and see what they do in terms of our gradient right here. So let's say I want to change this color. I'm going to add the first color, which is this dark green. And then this one, I'm going to go at the other end of the spectrum right here and copy this kind of mint color. And I'm going to add it right here. So you see, this is going to create a nice gradient going from one shade to a lighter shade of the same kind of color. So this creates some kind of elegant looking background. And if you want it to be a background, just stretch it. Make sure you position this as you wish to have some kind of like darker or lighter uh, gradient and never forget you can always rotate this to change the orientation of your gradient. So this is cool. Let me show you what happens if you go to other tabs here. So that was mono, but what if you go to complementary? Complementary could be an interesting mix as well or triad. Let's try com complementary, see what happens and take two colors here. Might not work. I'm just trying this on the fly with you guys. So this is the first one. Yep. And the second one, this one, we are going to go for the pink. Let's see how that looks. It's okay. Yeah. So we have a higher contrast between our two colors here because these are complementary colors. So it's almost like opposite colors. So this is another way of getting interesting uh, gradients right here. And then another way to do it is to use white as one of the colors, right? Let's choose another color. Okay, let's go back to, yes, Canva here. Let's choose this red orange, looks nice. So where is it? I guess it's this one, copied. I'm going to bring this here the first color, boom. And then the second one, I'm going to be a white color. So now I have another kind of gradient, which I could use, for example, on a landing page or something like that 
to kind of create a fadeaway effect and have some kind of visual here look. I'm going to try to find a photo of someone without a background. So let's say an angry person. Let's see if I can find this. Yes, look at this guy here. Like I could have something like this. And this creates in itself a pretty interesting visual. Because of the background, because of the gradient, which is kind of fading away, it looks interesting. All right, guys. So this is how you create custom gradient background. Let me recap by using the gradient that looks squared. And uh, from there, you can basically input any of the colors that you want. So it's just really up to you to customize these uh, colors to have something good looking. I hope this was useful and I'll see you in the next lecture.